What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about buyer agency agreements and the fact that I've never gotten one signed before showing property. Before I get into that, I wanna let you know that if you miss the 28 day challenge, we're gonna start it again this Sunday. There's a link in the description below or you can go to zero to diamond.com backslash 28 days. The response to this 28 day challenge has been incredible. Incredible. People are getting listings, buyers, contracts, left and right. Uh, it's been very inspiring to watch. You guys really attack this 28 days and show me what you're made of with this. I mean, it's not easy. It is a challenge. It is gonna challenge you to get out of your comfort zone, to do things that you don't normally do. Why? So that you can grow. You're not gonna grow unless you get out of your comfort zone, stretch the limits of what you can actually do and what you can achieve. And the moment that you realize that you can actually do these things is gonna be the moment that you visualize your full potential. You're gonna be able to see where you're gonna be in the next five years based on what you're doing on a daily basis right now. It's all about routine. It's all about doing the things that matter, that actually create business. Also hit me up on Instagram at Ricky Carruth. I'm still answering every DM there or shoot me a comment below and do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. As you can tell, I'm providing massive value here on my channel and for the last couple weeks, I've been putting out two videos a day. So definitely show me some love. So let's get into this buyer agency agreement uh, debate, if you will, because I know a lot of people and a lot of agents are just so for it. They think that you have to get this buyer agency that it's ridiculous for anyone to say that they don't get by our agency. Um, and I understand that side of it. Uh, uh, very much I understand that side of it. But the cold hard fact is, is that I've never got one signed before showing someone property. If someone comes in as a lead and they say, I wanna see these properties or will you show me properties in this criteria or whatever the case may be, I immediately start showing them the properties that they wanted to see. I don't get a buyer agency agreement. Now, once we've been looking around a lot of houses, we get down to the one they want, we make an offer, I may throw it into the paperwork at that point, or I may throw it into the paperwork once we go under contract, uh, along with all the rest of the documents that I have to get signed. So, you know, I do get them signed because they are required by my office, but I've never got one signed before showing property. Now, I'm sure you have a couple of questions. Ricky, why not? Why don't you get buyer agency signed? And how does that work out for you? Don't people just go and use other agents? To answer the first question, the reason why I don't get a buyer agency signed before showing property, really there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I just don't really care, right? I just, I just wanna provide value. I want them to feel like they are family to me. Um, and the other reason is, is because I don't want to start any friction between me and the buyer. I know a lot of agents and I've never even tried to get a buyer agency signed beforehand, never even tried it. But I know a lot of agents have come to me about this subject and they literally told me that, you know, they, their, their broker or their coach told them that they have to get buyer agency signed before showing properties and they would try that method and it would literally make the prospects run away. It would scare the prospects, uh, they just didn't want to sign it, it's a very uncomfortable situation, very awkward. Now. Keep in mind, these are newer agents probably that don't understand how the game works and they're probably just awkward you know, and inexperienced in the first place. If I, experienced agent, were to be in that same situation, yeah, I'm sure I could smooth it over, no problem. I'm not saying it's, this is gonna happen to every single prospect, every single time, every single agent. I could very smoothly make that happen and have them sign by our agencies before showing property. I'm sure out of a hundred, there's gonna be a handful that it makes feel uncomfortable that they're signing something before they even know you or before they even see of their first property. You know, they're, they're locking into something here. So I want you guys to keep in mind, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do this at all. The purpose of what I do on this channel and in my videos is I wanna share with you my experiences, the way that I do my business. Is my way the best way? No. Is it the only way? No. 
Um, there's plenty of other methods and strategies. I mean, there's there's so many. The, 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 I mean, it, everything works. I'm a huge believer in everything in this industry works. You just have to find out what works for you. My job is not to tell you that my way is the best or this is how you do it. I don't say this is how you do it at all. I say this is what I think, this is how I feel, this is what I do, and I back that up with experience because I'm in the field with you selling, showing property, going to listing appointments, losing deals, getting deals, going to closings. I'm in the field every day, closing deals every week, getting listings every week, trying to figure out who am I going to help next? Who do I need to follow up with? What cold calls do I need to make? You know, weekly emails, social media, you know, what do I need to do to, to keep the momentum going in my business? I, I, I'm in the same boat as you trying to keep my business going. And we all have to deal with the market's ups and downs, and we have to make adjustments technology coming in. We have to make adjustments. There's a lot going on all the time. Nothing stays the same. And so I'm just here to share with you as I go along how I'm doing it, what I'm doing, what I think. And not saying this is the best strategy at all, but it's what I do. I don't get buyer agency signed. I would love to hear your comments on this. Please comment below. I know a lot of you are probably going to say that's ridiculous. You need to get one signed every time. I know a lot of you are going to say, Ricky, I completely relate to what you're saying. I really want to hear both sides of it. Even before I lost everything in the crash and learned that it was about people, not deals, and to always put relationships over transactions, I still didn't get buyer agency signed. Even back then, when it was about the deal for me, um, I still didn't get buyer agency signed. I just feel like these people are my family. I treat them like family. I think that's just the bottom line. I just treat everyone like they're family. So I hope this video gives you a different perspective on buyer agency agreements. And I, like I said, I want to hear what you have to say about this subject. It's going to help me understand the industry better so that moving forward, I can be in a better position to help more agents. Please give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like this one. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.